Hello everyone and welcome to Bell Explains. In this video, we'll be doing a short recap on chapter two. Let's get to it. Explain with examples how the LCM of two numbers is the same as the product of the two numbers. So here we have two numbers. I've taken two and three because they have no other smaller numbers. So we'll find the LCM here. We have two times three gives us six. And the product of these numbers also gives us six. This is because these numbers have no other smaller factors other than one. Next for number seven, the LCM of two numbers is 60 and the HCF of the two numbers is six. Find the two possible numbers. So here we know the formula is LCM is actually the product of the two numbers over the HCF. So the LCM here is 60. We do not know the product, so we'll put it as A and B over the HCF, which is 6. So here we have A and B at 360. So the possibilities here are, could be 60 and 6, or 30 and 12, or you could find other possibilities or multiplications that could give us 360. And those are all possible numbers. Next for number eight, a clock is set to ring every 15 minutes, whereas another clock is set to ring every 25 minutes. If both the clock rings together at 4 p.m., find the time at which both clocks will subsequently ring together again. So here we'll have to find the lowest common multiple. For number eight, we have 15 and 25. So that will give us five here. Dividing it by five gives us three and five. So divide, dividing it by three again gives us one and five and dividing this by five gives us one and one. For lowest common multiple, remember that the final answer here should always be one and one. So now that we have divided it until we get the final answers of one here, let's find the lowest common multiple. We have five times three times five and that will give us 75 minutes. Okay, so we also know that 75 minutes is actually is actually one hour and 15 minutes. Okay, so if from 4 p.m. we add one hour and 15 minutes, that will give us 5.15 p.m. A cafeteria serves ground nuts cakes every four days and burgers every six days. If groundnut cakes and burgers are served on Monday, on which day will both types of food be served on the same day again in the cafeteria? Okay, so here we will have to find the common, the lowest common multiple here. So we have four and six. So that will give us a two here. So dividing it by two gives us two and three. Dividing it by two gives us one and three, and lastly, dividing this by three gives us one and one. So the lowest common multiple here will be two times two times three. So that should give us after 12 days. Okay. So let's see in the calendar, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? So this is the first day, second, third, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. So after 12 days, right? So this is the 12th day. So we cannot take the 12th day, which means after 12 days will be the 13th day. So it will be on Saturday. For 11, Eileen wants to produce a history scrapbook using 24 photographs and 42 newspaper cuttings. She wishes to use all the photographs and newspaper cuttings such that every page of the scrapbook contains the same number of photographs and newspaper cuttings. What is the maximum number of pages she can have for the scrapbook? So here we'll be looking for the highest common factor. For A, we have 24 and 42. So to find the highest common factor, we will divide this by two. That will give us 12 and 21. Dividing this by three gives us four and seven. 
So since we're looking for the highest common factor here, and these numbers cannot be divided by any other common factor, so this will be all, and the HCF that we get will be 2 times 3, so that will give us 6 pages. For each page of the scrapbook, how many photograph and newspaper cuttings will there be? Okay, so in order to know the number of photograph cuttings and newspaper cuttings on each page of the scrapbook, since we have already gotten the HCF here and we get the remainder here is 4 and 7, right? So the number of cuttings will, for photographs will be 4 and the number of newspaper cuttings will be 7. 